So within the world of Night City and Cyberpunk 2077, many players like myself don't just want the perfect playthrough build, they also want to look the part too. And with the many, many different variations in regards to character options and, well, customization, with our looks, I thought I'd bring you guys the best five clothing vendors I use, which indeed can make you look as badass as V should look. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So I obviously understand we do prefer different things and styles, but today with these vendors I will recommend, I'm certain you will find something that matches your personality. Also please do keep in mind, the items of stock I will show you in this video in regards to the vendors can be rerolled by skipping time by 24 hours in game. So if you see something that's here for me and it ain't there for you, try skipping time. If you find a vendor and like the style of clothing they have, uh, because all vendors in this game do have a set loot pool, again, reroll the vendor by skipping time and you should find something that you like and suits your player. Okay, so first up might be a little over the top or a little too out there for most people, but for me, being a massive fan of old school wrestling growing up and the flair within it, from wrestlers like Ric Flair himself, stunning Steve Austin, who was obviously a little later, who went on to be Stone Cold Steve Austin, as we all know. Do you guys remember Ravishing Rick Rude, absolute legend, and even sometimes Gold Dust? I've always liked that weird, out there kind of style, and while with this vendor I found within Dogtown, it does a great job in selling certain items which match that kind of style of flair uh, that some people may be interested in like me. So if in Dogtown, come to the Longshore Stacks Fast Travel and follow the short path to this vendor I take on screen now. Now this vendor isn't limited to flair by the way, he does sell many different types and styles. What I will say is, this guy stocks way more than most vendors too. So when you re-roll, you get quite a lot of fresh new things that can appear each time which is great. Including a variety of jackets that are really blinging and out there. But at the same time, certain clothing that ain't too over the top, which you can for sure mix and match with other items you've looted or brought else. Wear. So next up we have this amazing vendor, actually one of my favourites located north side of Watson, seen here on screen now. Now what this vendor stocks is more along the lines of that rockstar kind of motorcycle, kind of heavy metal kind of clothing, with some awesome jackets for sale here too, with those built in LED colours we do love. Now although these are few and far between here, I'd still prioritise coming here for those leathery customs. I brought this set you can see on screen now from this vendor to try and match the motorcycle I was using and I think it does look pretty cool. The jacket I have here is more or less perfect, a proper biker gang leather jacket here. But besides this it's still one of the best looking leather jackets I've seen across all vendors in this game. But there's also full leather outfits and some decent boots you can obtain from this vendor too. Now what I will say is stock is kind of low here so you will find yourself re-rolling a few times probably before you find that outfit, that jacket, that, that t-shirt, those boots or sunglasses that you may want. Next up we are staying in Watson but now we check out a vendor within Little China, the Little China area. Now this vendor does stock a lot of similar items to the previous vendor I just covered. I just feel this one branches out uh, to almost a kind of different style. Even though the clothing items are the same, the designs they come with kind of match the area this vendor is located within. Now if you guys are fans of those light up coloured jackets then this vendor is quite possibly the best you will find. Every time I've re-rolled there's been a new one here. Although the designs on said jackets could be a little wild, I know people out there like world, uh, I'm one of them sometimes, but this one definitely has the best jackets in regards to those light up lead, those LED colours. Now again if you re-roll this vendor, skip time by 24 hours, Every time you come here, you should see a new one. So if there's a specific color you're looking for, um, the only one I couldn't find was an orange and yellow one, which I found at another vendor, which I'll showcase to you guys shortly. But every other color I could get from this vendor from just simply re-rolling. So yes, guys, uh, this one's amazing for jackets. Like I said, the items here are a little close to what we just covered in the previous vendor, but these ones branch out a little further in regards to their design. 
Next up, we visit a clothing vendor in Santo Domingo, located right here on the map. Now, this market store vendor is actually a vendor I covered way back when in the heyday of Cyberpunk 2077. I say heyday, I think now is the heyday, but more or less about four or five months after it was released. And it's great coming back here, seeing this vendor still has some unique items which you can purchase from. Now, what I will say again is her stock isn't massive, so you'll find yourself rerolling a bunch of times to try and get that perfect fit. Now, what I will say is some of her jackets are the best looking you will probably come across from a vendor in this game. Uh, but she isn't limited to this. She sells a mass variety of items, including uh, outfits, boots and trousers. I mean, yeah, I know uh, these won't be to everyone's taste, but she is a proper unique vendor in the style of clothing that she does sell. So come here, re-roll a few times and check her out. And you never know, you might just find that one item that you've been searching for. Lastly, guys, we come to Stylishly in Haywood Wellsprings. So if you guys like and want that bling, then this is definitely the place for you. So located right here on the map guys is one of a few clothing vendors that I've seen across the game which has a high amount of stock which is just pure bling. And when I mean bling, I mean bling. More or less everything here is shiny. So if you like those golds, those rose golds, platinum, silvers, those sparklies, then this is the place for you. Now again, what I will say is the same thing with the previous three or four, well the previous three vendors I've covered today. The stock here is sometimes quite low, which means for that perfect item, you may have to re-roll a few times to get it, which can be a bit of a pain in the ass. But I mean, if you want that perfect item, you got to do what you got to do. So again, just come out of the shop. You may have to take a few steps away from the shop and just skip time in game by 24 hours. Then when you go back inside of the shop, she should have re-rolled her gear. I uh, mean, she can have new items to sell. But what I will say is, and this goes for all other vendors too, if there's an item you see straight away, you should definitely buy it because if you re-roll, there's a chance that item will vanish and you probably won't get it again. I've had that a couple of times, so don't make that mistake. So from jackets, outfits, sunglasses, boots, this vendor does sell them all. Me personally, I ain't too much into that over the top bling, but I know many of you guys out there love this kind of thing, which is great. So yes, guys, if you want that bling, if you want to stand out from the crowd, this vendor uh, within uh, Haywood's Ross Rings is definitely for you. And there we have it guys, five of the best vendors in this game for a mixed variety of different clothing items for your V. If you guys have found a vendor which I haven't covered today, which sells some proper unique items, do let us know down below within that comments section. But on that note guys, the end of the video has arrived. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.